So here is the situation. I have some data here with a call center number, some KPIs, and the values from January till December. The ask is to create a pivot table with this data set. The problem is if I select this and say insert pivot table, let's put it here and let's see what we get. We have, for example, the KPI that we can put here. And then if I want to have the months, I have a problem because I have to drag every month and put it there, which is not ideal, right? So if I just delete this pivot table and I try to transpose the data here, we are partially transposing the data. So we only want to transpose this. I do copy. I can come here. I do paste, paste special. If I do transpose, you can see that it doesn't work either. Now I have January, Feb and March, etc. in one column, but my data is not in an organized way. So that also doesn't work. I have a few lessons in the course where I'm explaining how to use different methodologies to transpose the data. I'm going to put a link in the description for those lessons so you can check them out. But here, what I want to show you is how to use Power Query with just a few clicks, you'll be able to do this operation. So to do this, first of all, we go to data and you can see that you will have get and transform data. If you have a version of Excel that is before 2016, you won't have this, but there is a free add-in, which is called Power Query, which you can add to get this. Now we're going to use this, which is from table or range. So you can either convert this to an Excel table or use a range. To use a range, you just select the data and then you click on it. But I'm going to use the other methodology, which is doing a table. So I'm going to insert, click table, say OK, and then we're going to call it data table. Enter. The next thing we do is go back to this and then say from data or table and we will get the Power Query Editor. So here you can see we have our data the same way it looks here. We have the center, KPIs and then the different months. So now this is data table. I'm going to call it end table, which is the result that we want. So that's the name. And then what I want to do is transpose all those months. To do this, I have here 12 columns and those I don't want to transpose, right? I have two columns. So I'm going to select those two because they are less than the other ones. You press on control, you keep control pressed. You select the second column, then right click and do unpivot other columns. So we unpivot them. And as you can see now, I have only two columns. I have the months here and I have the values here. And this is my KPI. Here, I want to change the name of this. So I double click on it and I call it months. So that's an easy thing to do. If you notice here, it starts with April. Why? Because I don't have any data for January for the first call center for SLA. So if I want to keep this data point and put a zero, what I could do is the following. So first of all, I go back to a previous step. So those are the steps where we are transforming our data. And you can see here I have some nulls. So I select January, then I press shift. I keep shift pressed and then I go to December. I click on December and my columns are selected from Jan till December. Next, I go to transform. I do replace values. I do insert, yes, and I type null, I replace it with zero. If I go back till the end, you can see that now I have Jan, Feb, and March, and the values are zero. So let's close this. Do I want to keep my changes? Yes, I want to keep them. If you see now, I have a new tab which has the desired table. So now it looks like a data set. I have my call center, my KPI, the months, and then the value. And here you can see the query. So if you click here, you can access where we were before. 
Now I want to insert a pivot table. So I select this, I do insert pivot table. Let's put it here and say, okay. And here I can put, for example, my KPI as a filter, my value as a sum, but I don't want sum. So I'm just going to do average. And I can put my months, for example, in the row and the call center in the columns. So here I can see all my call centers. I can see the months and this is a pivot table and I can improve this pivot table. So for example, if I select abandon rate, it's a percentage. So we just can select this and make it as a percentage with one decimal point. So now it looks much better. So this is the concept. Please let me know which methodology you prefer. Watch the other videos about transposing the data. And if you didn't do so, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.